Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best Warzone loadouts to be using as of right now. But quickly before we do get into today's video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to turn up as any more videos on the channel. Of course, Black Ops 6 is just around the corner. I'm posting all kinds of Black Ops 6 content when it does drop. If you do enjoy today's video, smash the thumbs up and let me know your favourite class app in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay, so I've got about 10 different classes to show you guys. And to be honest, these classes are probably going to be usable until Black Ops 6 does come out. As I don't see much weapon balancing happening from now until Black Ops 6. As like I said in my previous video, they're going to be working on just trying to get Black Ops 6 ready to go and get Black Ops 6 integrated with Warzone. So there's probably not going to be many changes to Warzone classes and weapons and the balancing and stuff like that. So these classes are going to be pretty usable for the entirety of the rest of the game. So to start off with any of you guys that like sniping, use this Moors Sniper. It is basically hit scan. It's got no bullet drop off. It's a one shot headshot from quite far away and it's just a very very good class so for the barrel we are going to go for the charge barrel and i'd like this one because it does make it hit scan you don't necessarily need it to be a one shot but it does definitely make it hit scan so i definitely recommend you use this if you if you maybe struggle with sniping or you know you just want that hit scan class for the laser we are going for the sl razor hawk laser right there guys the optic you can sort of put whatever optic on that you do prefer but the optic that I've been using, guys, as you can see, is the Heinrich Hybrid Scope. That's a really nice one, in my opinion. For the stock, we're going for the Super Light 90. And then for the ammunition type, guys, we're going for the HVP Anti-Material Slugs. The next class is going to be the Pulimot uh, 762, guys, which, again, very good LMG. Not a lot of recoil on it. Really nice damage. Obviously, a massive magazine as well, allowing you to take out a whole team within one magazine very, very easily. The muzzle is going to be the Quarter Master Suppressor, guys. For the barrel, we're going for the Reckoning 8 Heavy Barrel. For the optic, I go for the jack glasses optic but the same with all of these classes if i'm running an optic you guys can change it to whatever you do prefer if you prefer a different optic the stock is going to be the uh the ivanov wood stock right there guys to help control the recoil a little bit and then for ammunition type we are going for the higher grain rounds right there guys i'm gonna try and get for these classes as fast as i can for you guys so i don't waste any of your time and you can just get the best classes and get into games with them as well guys but next up, we have got the AMR9. Once again, the Quartermaster Suppressor is going to be on the muzzle. The underbarrel is going to be the Jack Slash to give us that little bit extra mobility and just movement speed with the gun. The ammunition type is going to be the 9mm high grain rounds right there, guys. The magazine is the 50 round mag. And then once again, for the optic, I'm actually going for the NIDAR model 2023. But as I said before, change any optics out to whatever you do prefer. For the BP50, guys, another one of my favorite close range classes. This is not a AR for long range. This is an AR4 close range. You basically using this as an smg because the ttk up close is absolutely crazy on this thing once again the muzzle is going to be the quartermaster suppressor you're going to find a very common theme with this as we know the quartermaster suppressor is very broken the barrel is going to be the law 9 heavy barrel right there guys and then for the optic of course the jack glasses optic just the cleanest optic in my opinion in the game for the stock we are going for the four bearer heavy stock right there guys just to help control the recoil making it very usable at mid range as well as close range and then for the magazine we're going for the 45 round mag giving us the biggest magazine size possible right there guys but that is the bp50 class then if we move over to some more smgs we've got the wsp swarm up first of course on the muzzle it is going to be the quarter master suppressor for the barrel we are going for the wsp a ruthless l barrel that guys and for the laser guys we're going for the point g3 p04 laser and this as you can see is going to increase the hip fire accuracy the hip recoil control and all that sort of stuff which you'll realize why in just a moment for the magazine we're going for the 50 round mag giving us one of the biggest magazine size possible if you really wanted to you can talk on the 100 rounds but just note you are going to lose a lot of mobility with this so that is why i personally run the 50s it's still going to give you in total 100 bullets because the final attachment is going to be the akimbo brace stock giving us two wsp swarms which is why we want that good hip fire accuracy and like i said with the 50 round mags you're going to get 50 round mags on each weapon or each gun giving us a total of 100 bullets to fire into our opponents and the reload speed is pretty quick with them as well guys so that is the wsp swarm akimbo class right there the fjx tourist is one of my favorite guns in this game the underbar is going to be the dr6 hand stop and the reason that i like this fjx Horus, guys not only is it good up close but it's also good at medium and long range it's got no recoil it does crazy damage and you can literally beam people from all kinds of distances with this gun the ammunition is going to be the nine millimeter high grain rounds the optic is going to be the jack glasses optic and the reason that i run this on it is because i like to be able to see my opponents at mid range and long range because you can take them out with this fjx Horus from those sort of distances the stock is going to be the ripper light stock right there guys and then finally finishing us off it's going to be the jack skimmer kit on the conversion kit Next up, we're talking about the whole got 556, guys. And this gun, once again, is a very, very good class. No recoil, crazy damage, and it is a very, very good gun at all kinds of distances. 
The barrel is going to be the Chiros 6 match. The muzzle is, of course, going to be the Quartermaster Suppressor. The underbarrel is going to be the Paracord Grip, guys, and that is going to really help with the recoil on this gun. The magazine is the 40 round mag, giving us the biggest magazine size possible. And then for the stock, we are going for the RB Adel Assault stock right there, guys. Next up, we're talking about the Rival 9, another SMG. We're going to go once again the Quartermaster Suppressor on the muzzle. The barrel is going to be the Rival C Clear Shot Barrel. What I like about this Rival is the TTK is really, really fast, but you've also got really nice mobility with it as well because of course it does have a super fast fire rate giving it that fast ttk the drum is going to be the 50 round drum or the magazine sorry and then for the stock we're going for the exf close quarters assault stock and then finally we are going for the arrival vice assault grip there for the rear grip guys then onto the last two classes we have got the two new weapons that have come into the game and as you can see we've got the dtir 30 and once again, the muzzle is going to be the Quartermaster Suppressor. For the barrel, we are going for the Sanctrum 60 long barrel right there, guys. The optic is going to be the Jack Glasses optic. The stock is going to be the Rifleman 200 stock. And then finally, for the magazine, we are going for the 40 round mag. And the final class, guys, is going to be the Castov LSW. Once again, the Quartermaster Suppressor. For the barrel, we are going for the Bombast T54 short barrel. For the underbarrel, it's going to be the Brace Fire HC grip. The stock is going to be the no stock option. And then finally for the rear grip, we are going for the state 50 grip. But those are the 10 best class ups in Warzone as of right now, guys. And honestly, you should be able to use these until the end of Warzone. Or at least until Black Ops 6 come out, should I say. Because I really don't see much weapon balancing happening. Because they're basically just leaving the game to rot at this point until Black Ops 6 does drop. So I wouldn't imagine too much weapon balancing happens. And I can imagine these are going to be very good until Black Ops 6 does drop. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to smash thumbs up. I've tried to keep it as short and sweet for you guys as I possibly could. So if you have enjoyed it, Smash thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, notifications, turn on, I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.